Hey guys, welcome to the Fi Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 4000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. Terence Crawford has reacted to Gervonta Davis claiming he would knock him out and played down the chances of the pair sharing a ring anytime soon. Crawford has never been beaten, let alone stopped. This did not, however, stop Tank from predicting he would defeat the three-weight world champion inside the distance if they ever fall. At 147, I tapped the chin and you know he is going to sleep. He got no chance. Round 6. In an interview, Bat laughed off the comments and explained Davis was campaigning at lightweight for a reason. When you look at all the great fighters, they get called out by everybody from different weight classes. So it's nothing that I'm surprised about. Everybody says what they're going to do. But Tank is in his weight class for a reason. I don't see him coming up to 147 to face me anytime soon. Bud's next fight looks set to be against mandatory challenger Alexis Rocha. After the WBO ordered the fight last month and talks between the two teams reportedly underway. Fans still hold out a degree hope that an undisputed clash with countryman Errol Spence Jr. could finally take place this year. However, that seems like a pipe dream at this stage after Namero's failed attempt at negotiation. As for Gervonta Davis, he will take on Ryan Garcia in the biggest fight of his professional career in just over a month's time, with the two young stars set to lock horns on April 22nd in Las Vegas. The boat will take place at a catch weight of 136 pounds and a one-way contractional rematch clause is in a place should King Rai upset the bookmakers out and get the better of Davis the next month. Legendary American champion Floyd Mayweather Jr. shared his opinion about one of the most anticipated fights of the year. On April 22nd in Las Vegas, American knuckles Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia will fight in the contractional weight limit. According to Floyd, everything is obvious here. Despite the advantage in size, Garcia will not make it to the final gong. Ryan has not won a, a title yet. And let's go here without all these time zones. It doesn't count. At some time, I don't want to belittle his last opponent, Javier Fortuna. In any way, he was just an opponent. Tank will be in the best shape of his life and just know when he hits this kid. Garcia will fall asleep soundly and will not wake up until next year, Mayweather said. Undefeated American lightweight Ryan Garcia believes he will knock out Gervonta Davis in their upcoming mega fight. Gervonta and I are having this fight now and it's crazy. It's like two superheroes fighting at the peak of their powers. I'll be thinking about it for hours, looking through countless records. Deep down I believe I will knock him out and it will be quick. I don't have any doubts, I just know that I need to work. If I do all the work I have to do, then he is finished. He will be knocked out. This fight can only end with him being knocked out and I'm ready for anything. So he is really going to have to put me down, so I can let him go. He will be forced to do this because there will be no other options. I won't give him pauses like other fighters did because he is too big, Garcia said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 4000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Why did Gervonta Davis include the hydration clause in a fight against Ryan Garcia? Gervonta Davis will face a bitter rival Ryan Garcia in a catchweight bowl. On April 22nd, both Davis and Garcia will need to weigh 136 pounds or less during the weight in a 10-pound regeneration clause was placed by Davis' team for Garcia in the contract. The blockbuster showdown between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia is just a month away. 
fans will flock to T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, on April 22nd to witness two of boxing biggest stars lock horns. The much-anticipated fight nearly didn't push through Toad after Davies camp adjusted the stipulations for the ball just before signing the contract. Garcia revealed in an interview on the Tazan Boxing Show that Davis' team insisted on a regeneration clause to be put in place for their fight to go ahead. Davis Garcia, what is catchweight? The two boxers agreed on a catchweight for his boat, as they fight in different divisions. Davis makes his living in the lightweight division, 135 pounds while Garcia competes in the super lightweight division, 140 pounds. According to King Ryan, he and Davis agreed on a catch weight of 138 pounds for their fight. The latter's team changed that catch weight a couple of weeks later, making the limit of 136 pounds instead. Davis' team introduces regeneration clause, Garcia agreed to that stipulation and thought the deal was finally sealed. Davis' team threw another surprise, inserting a regeneration clause for Garcia to follow. Usually, in boxing, once the fighter makes the weight limit during the weight in, his focus switches to the fight. That isn't the case for Garcia, who must watch his intake before the fight, with Davis' team introducing a 10 pound regeneration clause. That means if Garcia weighs 136 pounds during the weight-in, he needs to enter the fight weighting 146 pounds or less. If he gets over the 146 pound limit, the fight is off. Hopkins believes the tank is a with boxing legend. Bernard Hopkins shared his take on Davies' decision to introduce a regeneration clause for his fight against Garcia, saying it is a sign of deep worry on Davies and his management's part peer. Subscribe to watch new videos. According to Hopkins, Davies' team doesn't want him to lose to Garcia, so they have made it more difficult for King Ryan to get the win. Davies has every reason to be worried, as Garcia is unbeaten in 23 fights with 19 knockouts. Tank is fighting back against critics of the regeneration clause, saying he did nothing wrong considering his opponent's physical dimensions. Davies said Garcia is the bigger fighter and he said he isn't dumb to allow his rival to blow back up to 150 or 130 pounds around the time they fight. Oscar de la Hoya expects Ryan Garcia to make it look easy against Gervonta Davies. Initially, Gervonta Davies weaved Ryan Garcia's perpetual and brazen callouts as a nothing more than ink and second channel. However, after years of fulminating with Davies and threatening to turn his lights out, the Baltimore native has finally decided to take Garcia up on his offer. A jam-packed crowd at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, will be treated to an all-out slugfest when the two widely popular fighters square off in the main event slot on April 22nd. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.